हेलो डी स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सीइंग द डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट्स देयर ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स देयर इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स दिस इट्स एन ओवरव्यू ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट्स let us start with the block diagram of a combinational circuit this topic is from digital electronics subject in digital logic circuits we are having two circuits combinational logic circuits and sequential logic circuits this is a block diagram of combinational logic circuit so combinational logic circuit can have n input variables as x0 x1 till x of n minus 1 n input variables and it can have m output variables varying from y0 y1 y of m minus 1 n input variables m output variables so when input is given it is processed in this combinational circuit to generate the output we have designated the input by input x variable and output by y variable while implementing or device designing a combinational logic circuit the three basic steps are to write the truth table simplifying the k map for the output variables and then finally drawing the logic diagram so let us now see what are the different combinational logic circuits so first one is half adder as you know by the name adder is doing addition binary addition operation half adder will have two inputs a and b and will have two outputs sum and carry full adder next combinational circuit is full adder it is having three inputs a b C in carry in three inputs and two outputs sum and C out carry three inputs two outputs. Coming to half subtractor, half subtractor is used for binary subtraction. It is having two inputs A and B and two outputs difference and borrow. full subtractor is used for binary subtraction it is having three inputs a b b in borrow in outputs are difference d and borrow out next one is binary parallel adder so binary parallel adder can be designed for n input variables here i have taken an example of 3 bit binary parallel adder 3 bits means a z the first number is a the second number is b binary number so the first binary number is having the bits as a0 a1 a2 so these are 3 bits in a number in b number the bits are b0 b1 b2 so it's a 3 bit binary parallel adder it requires three full adders so each full adder how many inputs are there for a full adder three inputs so for for the first full adder the inputs are a0 b0 and the input carry is zero so these three are the inputs the full adder is having two outputs sum and carry which is designated by s0 and c out and this carry out c out is acting as carry in for the next full adder so for the second full adder the inputs are a1 b1 c in these three are the inputs and output for this full adder is s1 and c out now this c out is acting as carry in for the next full adder so the input for the third full adder is a2 b2 c in the outputs are s2 and c out so this binary parallel adder is having three outputs s0 s1 s2 with c out so there are four outputs here and the c in is zero binary parallel subtractor the next combinational circuit is binary 
parallel subtractor. I have explained, I have drawn two bit binary parallel adder, the two numbers are A and B comprising of two bits, the A binary number is comprising of A0, A1 and the second binary number is comprising of bits B0, B1. So, full subtractor is having three inputs A0, B0 and B in. Here we have taken C in, we can say it as B in also which is taken as 1. Okay, so, the outputs are S0 and C out. This C, this C out will act as C in for the next full adder. So, A1, B1 through the NOT gate. So, the three inputs are A1, B1 given through NOT gate and C in. These three are the inputs and the outputs are S1 or we can here say it as D1 and D naught difference and we can call this as B out, we can change the nomenclature also. Here also we can say it as B out and B in, here this B in value is 1, borrow in, ok. So, it is having 3, 2 inputs A 0, B 0, C B in 1 as 1 and outputs are difference D naught and B out. Here for the second full adder it is A 1, B 1, B in, output is D 1 and B out. The next combinational circuit is magnitude comparator. So, this is a 2 bit magnitude comparator, the binary number A is comprising of 2 bits A 0, A 1. The second one is second number binary number is B comprising of bits B 0, B 1. So, what is this comparator doing? It is comparing the two binary numbers whether A is less than B, A is equal to B, A or A is greater than B. So, magnitude comparator is used for comparing two binary numbers. The next combinational circuit is de decoder. Decoder is represented as n is to 2 to the power n decoder. The first variable indicates that n is the number of data inputs, 2 to the power n indicates 2 to the power n outputs. To enable this decoder, it is having one enable input. So, what is the decoder? It is having n data input lines and 2 to the power n data output lines. The next combinational circuit is encoder. Encoder is 2 to the power n is to n. It means 2 to the power n data input lines and n output lines, n data output lines. To enable the decoder, we are having the enable input. So, decoder is n is to 2 to the power n encoder is 2 to the power n is to n. The first term tells about the input and the second one tells about the output. The next combinational circuit is multiplexer. Multiplexer is having 2 to the power n cross 1. Multiplexer means many to 1. So, many inputs are there 2 to the power n input data lines and only one output. So, to select which out of this 2 to the power n input lines, we need select lines. So, input lines are 2 to the power n, it will have n select lines. To enable the mux, we are having one enable input. Demultiplexer, demultiplexer is one to many. So, one input line 2 to the power n output lines. To select them, we are having n select lines. Okay. So, to enable this DMUX, demultiplexer in short is known as DMUX. 
multiplexer in short is known as MUX. To enable the DMUX, we need an enable input. Okay, so I hope it's clear all the combinational logic circuit uh, block diagrams are clear. So, here you can see decoder n is to 2 to the power n decoder d max 1 cross 2 to the power n. So, decoder d max encoder 2 to the power n is to n max 2 to the power n cross 1. Multiplexer d multiplexer are having select lines and encoder decoder do not have select lines. Okay. So, in this class we have seen different uh, combinational logic circuits like half adder, full adder, half subtractor, full subtractor, binary parallel adder, binary parallel subtractor, magnitude comparator, decoder, encoder, multiplexer and demultiplexer. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.